All right, so we're going to start with some prep work. First thing that we need to do is remove any of the light switches or trim pieces that we need to remove. Real simple, that's it. So now we need to prep the walls. We're going to fill any gouges if there's any holes. Um, then we're going to use a, a damp rag just to clean the surface of it, make sure there's not any dust or anything that's going to mess with the glue. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to cut our header out. So we're going to take this, we're going to hold it where we need it. Take your knife or scissors, whatever you'll be using, and then you're just going to cut that crease. All right, we've got our header cut out, so now we're going to use it to draw our plumb line. We'll have it overhang just about an inch or so. Give us room for give us room for our cuts. And then we're just gonna mark that. Line. Measure our wall height so we'll know how long to cut our wallpaper and we're gonna want to add about we're gonna want to add two or three inches to it. So got 91 inches, so I'm gonna cut it at 93. Alright, we have our wallpaper adhesive. We're gonna need a roller and we're gonna need a brush. We're just gonna apply it directly to the wall and we can start hanging our paper. All right, we're gonna use a brush to get right by the baseboards and then in the corners and up by the ceiling and then everything else we can just roll. All right, we're going to take our straight edge, and then we're going to take our uh, blade here, and then we're just going to cut the wallpaper. All right, now that we've got our wall, uh, we've got the adhesive on the wall, I've already cut out the length that we're going to need on our wallpaper, so we'll just start applying it. The most important part about the wallpaper is to get it to line up as perfect as you can with the other piece so that the image is smooth. And the neat thing about wallpaper is if you mess up, it just peels off and then you can just put it back on and try again. So my only pointer would be uh, make sure that your razor blade is razor sharp and you switch it out every couple of cuts because the you know, if it's really sharp, your lines and your cuts will be perfect. As soon as we opened it up, we realized that the paper is really high quality, has a real nice texture to it, and it's real thick. Uh, it's really easy to install, and we really like it a lot.